by nine with 4.49 to play. Gonzaga was on the ropes. They came out with a lot of jabs. And then the Haymaker, 13-0 run. And here we are in overtime. And now a steal by Williams. Williams with the Euro step. No good. Out of bounds. That'll go to Gonzaga. <laughs> Jonathan Williams trying to create contact to get Crandall his fifth foul of the game. But lost his balance on the Euro step. Couldn't quite finish. Not quite the look that he wanted. So Silas going down now for Gonzaga with just over three minutes to play. Williams, uh, excuse me, Perkins being descended, uh, defended by Crandall. Seven on the shot clock. Perkins has some room and he uses the right hand for the finish. Good court awareness there by Josh Perkins. Kick out, Jones up top three, in and out, no good. Not a bad look if you're North Dakota. And, you know, you do a nice job defending Gonzaga, deep into the clock, and then Perkins just makes a nice play on that drill penetration with the tough finish off the glass. Some questions perhaps, North Dakota running out of steam. They haven't gone to the bench much. There's six men, so to speak, ten minutes from Walters, that's been it. Well, it's that attrition. You're trying to block out, defend a bigger team. Gonzaga has more depth. Gonzaga, for a large stretch there in the second half, was pressing North Dakota. So I think it's a fair point to make, Sam, that is North Dakota here in this overtime period running out a little bit of a gas, a little bit of energy. GU shooting 73% on the season from the charity strike. And Tilly, one point away from joining that double digit club with Williams, Perkins, and Orbell, and he does just that. Final two minutes here in overtime. Oh my goodness, just when you're ready to count them out, Crandall comes up with a big three. And that ball. ends a 25 to 5 run. Ball needs to be in his hands on every position. Perkins dribbling it out. 10 on the shot clock, 140 to play in overtime. Tilly gets it into the corner. Silas tries to get it back to him. J3 with one on the shot clock. That'll be a shot clock violation. Did not hit the rim. So North Dakota just hanging and hanging around. Crandall's still playing with those four fouls. I don't think this is the way Mark Hugh was imagining this day would end up. <laughs> no, but a lot of times coming off of finals, Yep. Guys have been focused in on finishing the semester strong as opposed to being in the gym with their normal routines and Obviously it seemed to have thrown guys off for a good portion of this game There was one member of the fighting Hawks team last night after their late-night workout uh, Was wrapping up practice wanted to know what time it was and by the time he figured out the time difference He had about an hour to write a paper for his final exam to get back to Fargo <laughs> Seals with the left hand. Nice and quick attack. Get a quick bucket early in your clock. Just two possessions here for North Dakota. You just got to get the stop at your point in the second half, Dan. They've got to come up with the rebound if they force the miss. One minute. Here we go. Perkins. What a move. Perkins. Two big finishes down the stretch for Josh Perkins. Three from Stewart. Back to a single digit game now. I should say a five point ball game. 40 seconds. And there's the foul. So we'll have two free throws here from Silas. 
Nelson, a 90% free throw shooter. He was 70% from the line as a sophomore. And now it's time to announce tonight's player of the game. Presented by A to Z Rental. And done a lot tonight, huh? Josh Perkins with a player for the dramatic. He's come up with some clutch shots down the stretch. Folks, no job is too big or too small. With eight convenient locations, we rent everything. Let A to Z Rental be your most valuable player, Josh Perkins. Final 30 seconds in a seven-point contest here in overtime. And you've got a foul. Great whistle, but it looked like there was some contact on the way up. Well, Coach Few wasn't happy after the last defensive possession. I was watching him interact with Perkins and Williams and say, why give an open look from three in this time? He's not happy about fouling a jump shooter 15 feet from the bucket. Oh, that's the right call. It is. Perkins line, 19 points, 7 assists, 5 steals, and 4 rebounds. Jones heads to the bench. Seals just 60% from the line this season. A big hit there. We'll get Trey Buchanan, the freshman from East Moline, Illinois, on the floor. Buchanan, just a 25% three point shooter on the season. They bring him in for the fouls, for the defense. Zagnor Bell, crafty on that possession. Understanding, keep the ball in the best free throw shooter's hands. You be the guy that gets fouled and go to the free throw line. Norvell going into this one in his last four games, 55% from the floor, 13 of 15 from the line, 12 threes. The list goes on and on. First Zag to record 20 points in his first two starts in collegiate basketball since Josh Heifko. He's got a chance to possibly hit the 20 mark again tonight. He's got 18, makes this one goes 19. You never know if North Dakota extends out the free throw game in any way. And it didn't look that way, Dan, in the first half. No, but that's you got to love his response. He struggled early against the University of Washington the other night and stuck with it and made some big plays in the second half. He did the exact same here tonight. And he did the same thing against Creighton. Hey, yeah, hey, the best players are all about the next play. They're not dwelling yeah. on what just happened. He's the definition of that. He could care less that he's, you know, one of six in the first half. He's going to continue to be aggressive in a second. Randall with a quick trigger on the three, knocks it down. But if you're going to switch, switch. You can't give their best shooter, Just, best yeah, player, an open look from three. It's a breakdown defensively, and you've got Silas and Josh talking it through. That's your senior backcourt. It's the same action that they've used over the last, over overtime in the last few minutes of regulation. Pistol action, you throw it ahead, you go back and try to get a little flip back pass that time was slightly different angle but you got to be connected and know are you switching or are you staying at home Nelson makes the first Silas had come into this contest making a three in a personal best 13 straight games he's over two from three-point range tonight so that streak in jeopardy but uh, he couldn't care less with these free throws helping putting the finishing touches perhaps on this one Stewart gets it to Crandall. Well defended this time. And the glove was all over him there. An air ball by the leading scorer for North Dakota. On the season, Crandall. And he's at 26 points to lead all scorers tonight. And he's been playing for much of this game with four personal fouls. It'll be Perkins' turn now around the carousel of the free throw line. Well, if you're Mark Few and his staff, you're not pleased uh, with a lot of tonight, but you have to be pleased with the response there with less than five minutes in the second half and what, down by nine, Sam, or something to that effect? Just a big-time response. You find a way to get the tough win at home. But if you're North Dakota, you've got to feel pretty good about what you have as you head into Big Sky next week. 
Uh, this is a team that was picked to finish fifth in the league after winning it last year. I think that number might be a little low. That was the first miss in overtime for Gonzaga at the line. Perkins. Gonzaga now is a team 9 for 10 here in these extra five minutes. Randall with an easy flush with 6.6. Six. And that. Well, well, so that happened. What a finish we saw tonight from Gonzaga. You expect a test like.